Weather Authority. Here is your weekend weather, sponsored by Pack Saddle Barbecue. Well, we saw much cooler temperatures for this Saturday. Didn't really warm up all too much from what we saw last night. We saw those 50s for those overnight lows, and those 50s continued, and that's actually what we saw for those afternoon highs as well. And we're still in the 50s, even within these past couple of hours. Haven't really cooled down all too much. We will cool down just a little bit, though, for tonight. Back down to the 40s for our overnight lows tonight. A little bit above average for those overnight lows last night, 52, as compared to that average of 44. But going throughout that afternoon, as we didn't really warm up all too much. We actually stayed below average for those afternoon highs. Saw that 58 uh, as compared to that average of 71 and a little bit warmer expected for tomorrow, but still going to be continuing to see some slightly below average temperatures across the area. Current temperature in downtown San Angelo looking off towards the north and seeing some kind of hazy conditions as we are seeing an increase in that moisture content across much of the area. 55 degrees right now, 53 degrees for that dew point. So again, only a two degree difference between that dew point and that temperature so kind of seeing some fog that could be happening out there right now and 93 percent for that humidity right now the fairly calm winds out of the west right now at four miles per hour and those will remain calm for the majority of our overnight hours as well those current temperatures across the entire area all of us sitting in the 50s again within these next couple of hours will soon to be into the 40s but for right now all of us sitting in the 50s on the upper 50s 58 degrees in mason 58 degrees in menard as well as brady 57 degrees in Coleman as well as Ballinger and off towards the south we see a 57 in Junction a little bit cooler off towards the west 51 degrees in Big Lake 52 degrees in Sterling City 54 degrees in Merson as well as Ozona, Ozona. actually all transitioning gonna get a little bit cooler within these next couple of hours for the entire area but strangely enough it's actually a little bit warmer than what we saw at this time last night a little bit of an increase fairly similar though to what we did see for our Friday night but still a little bit of an increase and in, uh, we will get cooler though for our overnight hours tonight for those overnight lows. Temperatures across the entire state seeing some cooler temperatures off towards northern parts of the state. 40s, 44 degrees in Amarillo. Transitioning though towards those middle portions of the state, you still seeing those 50s actually holding on to a 60, 61 degrees in Houston. But for the most part, seeing those 50s across the entire state. And that's actually what we'll be seeing for these next several hours, staying in those 50s for the majority of our night, but down to those 40s, those upper 40s for those overnight lows. Could be seeing some of us get to the mid 40s, but for the most part, just seeing those upper 40s and then right back to those 50s tomorrow morning as we start to warm up as that sun starts to rise. Forecast for tonight, 46 degrees for those overnight lows. A little bit of a cool night, mostly cloudy skies, winds out of the northeast and very calm, only at about five miles per hour throughout our overnight hours and looking ahead to tomorrow. 63 degrees for those afternoon highs, a little bit warmer than what we saw today. We'll actually start to see some showers pop up across the area for those later afternoon hours and transitioning into those evening hours. So mostly after 5 p.m. some spotty showers will pop up across the area and looking at that seven day forecast. Those rain showers continue Sunday as well as Monday and seeing mostly below average temperatures for the rest of the week.